top eight winner side is Heisen. And I mean, he's been playing absolutely phenomenally that last game, closing it out with phenomenal orb plays. So he's looking pretty hot right now. But before we set up into the lower side of the bracket, we're going right into winner's finals, blue versus Akno, the mirror match of the ages. Look at this double Bodvar action. Three. Team Red versus Team Blue. But the funny thing yes. here is that Blue is actually rocking the red color here. But here we go, right on to Small Mammoth Fortress here. Blue with the hammer in hand, Blue with Ooh. the sword. And already racking up some quick damage. Yeah, that's going to be a common approach option for Makno. You see, even after hitting the, the side light with the sword, he will jump up, go for those down airs. He wants to dribble him off the stage so that way he can get so much more. Unfortunately, for every sword hit he gets, Blue only needed a couple hits with the hammer to tie up the damage. Ooh, and a double recovery from Blue now with the sword in hand. Going to keep Akno in the corner here, looking for some pressure by the corner. You can see the patience. He's just going to wait for him to come back on stage, bides oh, his wow. time, <laughs> and no punish, unfortunately. Yeah, but I mean, a knockout soon to follow up off the platform. Not yet enough. Akno still surviving, threatening with that gravity cancel stomp. Now blue with a little bit of the corner guard. Wow. All right. So you're going to see a lot of those mid-range weapon throws used to just break up the spacing. And there it is. First knockout blue with the standard punish. The downlight into side air. The sword side arm. Here we go. Now it's up to Akno to bring this back. Blue does have a fair amount of damage racked up. Could be an opportunity right here for Akno. Can't find the recovery. Has blue in the corner. Now Akno's going to keep playing this patient game here. Wait for Walker mm. to come to effect. And a Nair is enough to secure a KO off the top. Yeah, he thought he didn't have the ups, but Bodvar can jump. I mean, look at Oh, that. yeah. He goes like twice his body height with a single leap. His hammer may as well be a basketball hoop, so. <laughs> Yo, 10-foot regulation. You got to keep him at arm's length with that. And here we go, man. It looks like we're right back into the thick of things. Akno bringing the damage fairly close to even here. Maybe even taking the lead with that last conversion. Looking for another clean hit. Blue wanting to get a weapon here. Akno starving him, grabbing yet another hammer. But Blue fighting his way unarmed. Now unarmed for a little while longer. Akno is vicious strong, but it doesn't even matter. Just the haymaker shoving him off stage, forces the dodge out with the weapon toss, dodges the own weapon toss, and again, now it's on the other foot. Blue, the one with the weapon. Akno, oh, oh my gosh. Blue really swung for the fences, bet with that weapon toss, and now finds himself unarmed. This has just been juggling back and forth over who has the item advantage. Oh, that ground pound was this close to hitting. Blue going off stage, getting the down here, scooping him to the skies. Not enough to get the KO. The patience, but it looks like an unfortunate trade there. I think Agno wanted to stuff that Sayer before it came out, but was not quick enough. And Blue able to get a slight lead. Let's see how much he can build off of that. Ooh, side light into the neutral light at the low damage. That is a phenomenal follow-up. You'll see it. Very small dodge window, sometimes even true with the higher dexterities. Oh, but all it takes is one big swing of the hammer to bring it right back. And right there, you can see even uh, the patience from Blue there want to get a little bit of extra damage, but he's pretty fine here. Has Akno in the red now on his final stock in this game one. Just going to be looking for probably a stomp Sayer to close it out unless mm. Blue is able... Oh, wait. Uh oh, oh, has to spend everything? Really? He didn't go off stage for that? Blue was happy just holding on to his advantage. I guess he figured he has enough of a lead. He doesn't need to risk it off stage. Oh my goodness, hold on. Akno's turning it up now. The pressure is Whoa. coming. He's going for that down sig. That could have been it, but none able to find it. Yeah, that would have been absolutely brutal. Down light recovery? Yes. Blue securing victory. A smart and steady play. Definitely not a, uh, you know, a one-sided game by any means there, but this time we're going to be going to Apocalypse. Okay. Ooh. All right, so that's, you know, Mammoth Fortress, but on fire. Yeah. Because it's got the one platform, it'll move kind of side to side. Unlike Mammoth Fortress, there's a uh, little bit shorter walls here, different stage uh just width to move around and that platform never goes and extends the length of the stage exactly that means they have a little bit less space meaning they're going to keep it up close and personal 
You can just see oh the my patience. Gosh. Wow, what a catch there. Just so much startup on that down sig that it was actually able to punish that spot dodge from Yeah, I think he was expecting either, you know, the gravity cancel side signature or just a side air. Because that spot... Oh my gosh! All right, I was talking about Blue not going off stage before, but he just leapt with that ground pound. Leaps and bounds. Here we have it. Blue racking up a little bit of extra damage. It's going to be a nice retaliation from Akno there, getting D lights there, but not much more than that as Blue forces him into the corner one more time. Now the shoot's on the other foot. Akno almost getting the downer. He gets the recovery. Oh, He's gone. Oh, what a rough bounce. Oh my gosh. He clipped him right into that corner that ended up spiking him downwards. Too much for the few options he had left. Oh my goodness. Akno with these stairs. Hunting Man, if down you've got Blue the sword. Here. That, that's how you get to threaten against somebody on arms. That side air has way more range than anything they can toss at you. Here we go. Now we have the ditto. D-Light oh, really? gravity cancel D-Sig. Just cause. Get a little bit of extra damage on there, why don't you? Yeah, really just looking to extend that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Up off the platform. I always get so nervous when they have that extended height because you're that much closer to the knockout line. I was sweating as well. I was like, man, that might be it. Luckily, the ceiling just a little bit high enough there. Not secure the KO. Akno still in hot pursuit, though. Mm. D-Lights there. Sending Blue off stage. Blue trying to buy some time. Gets the wall touch. Resets his options. And looks like Akno's unable to capitalize. Blue's now back on stage. Uh-oh. And scooped right up into the sky. Out of here. Down to his final stock. Blue with the 2-1 stock advantage. Better step coming through. Trying to get this neutral light. Wants to get that quick early conversion to the side light at these kind of lower damage numbers here blue unarmed off stage now trying to get a little scrappy Woo, perfect oh my spot gosh. dodge as well yeah fearless oh, oh my god goodness. are you kidding i would oh. be so scared all right the recovery finally taking the stock but look at this it's a similar situation blue with a massive damage lead down to the final stock here we go blue's gonna run to the other side of the stage get that sword in hand now gonna kind of push Akno off the stage. Will he be able to find it? No, he's able to dodge right through that neutral air. Blue trying to hold the corner. Looks like Akno's going to regain center, but not without taking a air to get forced right back into the corner one more time. And Blue, he's like, I'll wait, bro. I'll wait. Yeah, you see how far back he sits from the corner just to ensure that Akno can't threaten him. And then he'll just dash in at just the right moment. Try to catch him peeking. To get that Sayer, it's not going to hit. Akno looking for that down sig. Kill so early. He's able to hit it off stage, uh -oh. but Blue's making it so hard. <laughs> oh! Perfect dodge. Went for the recovery instead of the ground pound. Now the damage is evening up on both. Danger zone, a strong signature. Or maybe downlight side air? No, sets up the edge guard. Tries to read blue going low there, but blue does end up going high. The weapon toss, forcing Akno to the corner, stops mm. there, and that is going to do it. Blue takes game two. All right, so now he is up 2-0, and this is really meaningful because the Winter Championship, Akno pretty much swept through the bracket, taking first place, and blue, you know, he wasn't really anywhere to be seen across top eight. Uh, I know it's always a little bit of a hibernation period coming out into the Winter Championship, but this here is where we really see a lot of the old guards trying to take their their former glory. But I know I mean there was a time Blue was the best player in EU, won mm -hmm. back to back to back tournaments. And lately it's been Akno that's holding those accolades, and Blue, he wants them back. Three, We're gonna see if he's two, able to do it. One, Akno going for the legend swap. Going to Val now, which means he'll still have that sword, but instead of the hammer, going to be rocking those gauntlets. We'll see if that's the adjustment he needs here. I mean, he's got to try something. Oh, all right. So that signature, I mean, it'll do three different things, depending on whether you're clashing into the ground, the wall, or open air. That open air spike that we see Akno threatening with yet again, absolutely brutal. And Akno is really threading the needle here, narrowly avoiding that hammer recovery and getting spiked off stage. Now, once again, in the corner. And I love the patience here. Are like, we going to do it? Oh, no. Open. Wow. All right. So that was absolutely smart. He was threatening right around that corner. He already showed him that, that spike signature twice. Had him thinking about it. So he had to respect the range of it. That's why Blue was hanging out a little bit lower and ended up spending too many of his options without being close enough to the wall. 
we go. I mean, Akno, we're getting to see a little bit of his gauntlet play now. And so far, not looking bad at all. There we go. Gets a side light nair. Mm. Beautiful conversion to the D-light uh, chase dodge recovery. Oh! Man, all right, so that's a few times now that Agno's been doing these gravity cancel signatures like right above the ground, and Blue will just dash right under them or dodge right under them almost fearlessly. Let's take a look here, man. These dash jumps in the center stage from Agno aggressively pushing his way forward to try and get some oh space. Oh, my gosh. And what a sly charge off the platform. Yo, he just went right into the break dance. Has anybody ever done like a windmill from, you know, 12 feet up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think we call that an air flare at that point. He's just Jeez. right off the platform. And just like that, man, Akno on the verge of a three stock here, unless Blue's able to find a way to close out this first stock. I mean, Akno's looking so comfortable. Yeah, I mean, the Val pick, I I'd say it's working out from getting, you know, beaten out very closely in the first two games of this set to now being up a full stock on Blue. Absolutely amazing. Very comfortably, uh, just navigating his way through and around the stage here, Blue. Trying to keep him in the corner. Doing a good job uh -oh. here. Let's try to go for the stomp. What's going to be the option here? No, goes for the side light and throws out that neutral light so quick to cover himself to stop himself from being punished. Goes for a quick oh my cheesy gosh. one. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, the turnaround with the recovery. I really thought Akno was going to get there, especially when he got that weapon drop right onto Blue's head. He was set up so well, but Blue immediately answering back with that recovery. Hammer recovery, so terrifying. I, I don't like fighting them on the edge because it is that vertical reversal. It sets them up perfectly. And Hammer ground pound, one of the strongest in the game. Mm-hmm. I look at the bow even sometimes. Oh, yeah. Hopefully... We'll see if Agno's able to hold this together. Oh Blue is answering back. I mean, D-Light, Gravity Cancel, and Sig. Looks like he will be taken out by that Gravity Cancel D-Light dare from Acno, but he did show several signs of light toward the end of that final stock there. Almost brought it back to a one-stock game when, you know, remember, Acno was up three stocks to one at some mm -hmm. point during that game. So, yeah, so I'm out of the woods just yet. So the adjustment had begun in that match, but it's up to Blue now to actually follow through on that and close out the set before Akno gets another game under his feet. Let's we'll see, so far Blue, no weapon, man, just to find the sword, gets a little down air off the dome there, but no extended conversion in Akno now. Here we go, uh-oh. Okay, we're trying to see him go for that same conversion he went the last time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just getting that nice, consistent damage into a setup. Try and get oh, the no. information. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, he got the touch. He's back on the wall. All his jumps restored. And just to clip a jump there. Goes for an X-Pivot down air. Gets the scoop with the recovery. No punish from Blue there. And Akna once again back on the stage. Missing yet another side sig. I'm actually wondering, has he landed one of those yet? I feel like most of those defibrillators just do not find the mark. It's, it's Blue has been phenomenal in changing up whether he's going for a jump approach or a grounded approach because Akno always gambles wrong on which one it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll do the grounded signature, Blue goes right overhead. Sometimes he'll do the gravity cancel one, Blue goes right underneath. Ow. You. Big spike, the weapon toss, just enough. No answer to coming back from that. Blue now down. Two stocks to Akno's three. Yeah, now it gets me wondering if Akno's going to start going for these grab to cancel side sigs where he's enough above the ground to catch someone jumping, but if they don't, it'll still hit if they're grounded. It's kind of that nice happy medium where you're still able to hit someone as long as they stay within the general area. But before we can even talk about that, Blue is once again back with the damage. He needs to find this final hit. He's really threatening. He wants those... The static confirms he's going for that sword down light time and time again. But man, getting punished for it. Look at the damage building up. He's in the red. He's in threatening. Oh my god, caught the recovery with that second down air. And now Akno, once again, three stocks to one. Here we go again. Akno on the verge potentially of maybe making a reverse 3 0 comeback if he's able to close this one out. We have, you know. Flashbacks to the last match where Akno once again had a happy oh lead. Oh my the gimp. All right. You know what? He had three stocks to work with. I absolutely agree with going for that because that would have been it otherwise. And right now he still has, I don't know how many more chances he can squeak in in two stocks, but it's a lot. 
Yeah, I mean, the only times that Blue has really been able to secure a KO off of that hammer recovery has been when Akno has tried to down air into him unarmed. It looks like, all right, if that's the only time that you're getting that conversion, it looks like you're in a pretty oh. good spot. But hold on, Blue, shades of the last game. Will he actually be able to get Akno down to the last dog this time? Swapping over to the hammer. Oh, wow. Akno just barely missing that neutral signature. Blue fading oh. to the back end. Couldn't avoid the second one. Right, Blue on the now. wall. He's got the hammer. So I, I like this that he swapped over. Oh, no. Down light side air. And Akno taking yet another game. All right, now we've got the set five. tied up. That's right. It's going the full distance. This Val pick absolutely play, paying dividends for Akno. So this is something that I want to see in this game five, right? Blue and Akno, they've been having these pretty close games. Uh, Akno, admittedly, these past two has been kind of demolishing Blue early oh, on. Yeah. And then Blue kind of tries to bring it back slowly, but is unable to make the comeback. But I feel like the largest thing that I'm noticing is that Three, Blue two, just needs to overshoot one, his hitboxes just a little bit more. Akno's been getting them with the backdash and the parry punish. And just, just got to extend a little bit further. Assume he's going to try to backdash your attack and get your punish. Otherwise, it's going to be a very tough time for Blue here. Yeah, now this is where it gets really scary because you can't really overshoot vertically on this stage. Oh my gosh, Akno just absolutely taking blue to task. Deep red. I was ready to score the knockout. Please. Huss, here we go. Blue now racking up a little bit of extra damage. Akno looking for that grab cancel and sick to see if blue's going to take oh. to the skies. Almost gets a reset there that would have converted into a KO off the top. Almost for sure there. And there yes. we have it. And now this, I, I wanted to mention about this particular map pick is absolutely terrifying with the legends that are on screen because every time that blue has that hammer, there's no walls here for you to really contest. The hammer recovery is always a threat. And then once you get sent down by that, it's going to be tough to get back to the wall. But the same can be said for Val's side signature on the sword or gauntlets in general. So this is going mm -hmm. to be an absolute <gasps> brutal. Oh my gosh, he just went for it. <laughs> Beautiful turnaround from Blue. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and luckily for Blue, I mean, it, he needed to come out on top there. Realistically, oh, just yeah. with the amount of damage that he has racked up, he's ready on his second stock. Had Akno been the victor of that exchange, that almost certainly would have been a guarantee that Akno was going to be sitting in grand finals here. But now Blue does still have a chance. He's trying to hold that center stage once again and not extending these hitboxes far enough right there. Akno gave him a clean whiff, but no punish from Blue. Man, it's like these two will go for like very structured play and then occasionally they'll go for those crazy reads that you expect to see in like a game one of a set, not here mm -hmm. in game five. You don't take those kind of gambles. There we go. And Blue, you know, his his answer has just kind of been trying to fight Akno with patience, right? He's like, if I can be more patient than Akno is, I'll be able to give myself more opportunities. And I love that grab the cancel D-Light. Manages to pick up a sword. Hold on, Blue. You might have the answers now. Hold on. So is that what it was? It takes three games to adjust to Akno's Val switch. Weapon toss, you know what? He doesn't have dodge. Ooh. Ooh. Everybody, just both of them dodging at the same time. Which one's gonna blink? So now Akno with a slight lead, but it is very tenuous. Blue waiting for that weapon spawn, gets hit with that Oh weapon. my gosh, uh -oh. the double dodge read? Look at all this damage piling on and on. He's already in the orange. It is not looking good for Blue here. Akno's going off stage. He wants it over and That's it's gotta done. That's gotta be it. Whoa, he don't. He, the dive he kick the to pound? just clip it. I thought he was going to get caught by that ground pound like he had nowhere else to go. But perfect spacing on that dive kick. Hold on, looks like I called it too soon, TWK. Blue still signs a life in the red already, but I don't know, man. It's looking tough. He's, he's getting ready. There it is. Now the stocks are evened up. All right, we've seen Blue with some phenomenal turnarounds before, but this one is of a different order. Look at that. He's so incredibly damaged. Deep red. Akno, oh, uh, not even touched. I was going to say, he got that gravity cancel sidelight on the dodge read. He could have gone for the recovery right there, I believe, and just closed out the game. But now Akno has to find yet another opportunity to secure the last hit on a blue. And you don't want to give him these options, but fortunately for Akno, he does not. He goes ahead and gets the D-Light recovery off the top and secures himself Ooh. a spot of nice warm seat in the grand finals.
Man, it's got, you know, all the extra cup holders, it's nice and cushy, they got the blankets there, you're wrapped up cozy, because you know you've got two sets to try and win this tournament now, going into Grand Finals winner side. Blue, unfortunately, getting sent down into the lower bracket now, where he's got to fight Heisen. Oh, nope. Heisen and M for Mini are going to have to play in Loser's Semifinals mm -hmm. before then. They have to duke it out, they're going to have a little bit of a, you know... Time before that, I don't know what we got going on. <laughs> Blue 